Good morning, Marcus Conti, independent investigative journalist, plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY, internet <coughs> experimenter. I was watching, um, today is going to be uh, kind of a big picture subject, I was watching uh, uh, independent media last night and I uh, saw, I was anxious to see this interview with uh, Tim Black, a kind of rising star in the independent media um, uh, place, you know, place on the internet, and uh, he was interviewing a big, oh, big fish, big fish, Donna Brazil, Donna Brazil, Donna Brazil was the ex-chairman uh, of the DNC, and she was intimately involved in the rise and fall of uh, the Democratic Party in 2016, and I gotta say, I watched the, I watched it, um, you know, anticipating that uh, Tim Black would really drag her through the mud and 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 um, you know call her a bitch and a whore, <laughs> things that maybe I might have done. But but he he handled it in a very um, you know classy, dignified way, and he asked her questions that uh, I I guess that the, that the people watching his show. People like me certainly wanted to hear. And he asked her about Debbie Wasserman Schultz. He had asked her about the DNC hacks. And I, I don't want to, I mean, I encourage you to, 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 I'll put the link down below. Watch the, it's an hour uh, interview. But I respect what Tim Black did here. And he, he took this uh, person um, from the DNC who, you know, they, they're salesmen, right? They're coming on board. They... The, the progressive, they still call it the progressive community, all the millennials that voted for Bernie Sanders. They lump them into a category of progressives. and right? But really, really, she, what, what they, the takeaway from the, from, the, uh, from the interview is that people like Donna Brazil still don't get it. Right? They don't understand that she's talking to an audience of maybe f less than a thousand people live, but then you know, maybe 10,000, 20,000 people are going to watch this interview and they're going to have an opinion about it. They're going to talk about it. And what, she, what they fail to realize is that she's coming She's coming into an audience of people who are paying attention, right? This is not the Hillary Clinton crowd or the, you know, the, the gaslight CNN crowd that's still, you know, it's Russia, 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 right? She That's not the crowd she's talking to. She's talking to a very educated crowd people that have their lights on and what what I wanted to what what I started to feel for that for uh, Donna Brazil is I started to feel I started to feel empathy for her and the fact that she's she's so she's so invested right she's so invested in the Democratic Party that she she's unable to She's unable to see the the point. All she sees is the hierarchy that you start from the bottom and you you know you kiss ass and someday you'll make your way up the ladder and you have to respect the people that came before you. I fundamentally disagree with that that strategy. I believe in like rock star, for example, you know, right? Rock stardom. Music industry is a great example because you could be 15 or 16 years old, and if you've got the talent and you connect with the audience, you rise to the top of the chart very quickly. In politics, when you show talent, they tell you get in line, go to the bottom, and 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 uh, you know, and and pitch. And people like Donna Brazil are really just they're just glorified salesmen. What they do is. You hear everything. She's very intelligent and very, you know, almost cunning in her ability to uh, flip the story back to the talking points. She has maybe ten talking points in her head, and every time the conversation goes to something that she wants to talk about, she goes forward. And every time it's something that she doesn't want to talk about, she goes back to a, a, a single talking point. And any one of those ten talking points, that's a that's a you know, telemarketing skill, right? You go back to the talking point. Whatever the question is, if if you you know, if you don't like the question you you, you talk about. So so that's what uh, people like Donna Brazil are trained at and very good at. And 
So let's look at, uh, well, I'll just play you a, a, a one clip. This is a clip where Tim, Tim asks her about, about the hack. Now, anyone in, in, certainly people watching this, or people that watch Tim's show, or any of the, the ind independent journalists that Tim is associated with, will know that there was no hack. There's no, there is no evidence to suggest that the DNC was hacked, right? And what you see is, you see her defend it, that I know, and you have to listen to me, and, and it's, you know, and it's, you have to trust me. We don't trust you. We don't trust you because we know that, we know that there was, was, was you know, gross uh, negligence across the board with the way the DNC uh, handled this election. We know it was rigged, in fact. So let's listen to what she says, and then we'll, I'll come back. I, I like to discuss the title of your book real quick. Um, <laughs> hacks. And yes, someone, sir. someone brought to my attention, Don. They said, um, does she mean political hacks? Because someone who's, uh, who's work on, uh, campaigns could be said a hacks. Or were you just simply referring to what you allege happened or what they allege happened with the DNC servers? You know, I thought it was an appropriate title to uh, describe people uh, who work on campaigns uh, like myself and others, and also the hacking that took place. So it had double meaning, but I also believe that it has uh, it, within those words a, a, a real urgent message to the American people. The country was hacked in 2016. And I do believe, and as you well know, this investigation is still ongoing, and we're going to learn more, more about uh, potential collusion, obstruction of justice. But the bottom line is, uh, Tim, when I found out what was going on at the DNC, I made sure that we alerted as many people as we possibly could. I See, now, she's either, she's either lying that the, that the DNC was hacked, or she believes it. And that's, that's the point. That's the point for me, right? It's, these folks are so gaslighted, right? What what is what is a what is an operative like Debbie, uh, Donna Brazil really? Donna Brazil is someone who starts out maybe caring about politics, maybe maybe she's she she's a civil rights person and she wants to get you know get involved in politics, and you know I've worked on a, a few campaigns, I won't say which ones, but I did, and I could tell you what it is. It's you get a piece of paper and you. You, you you use you call the phone or you knock on the door and you stick to the you stick to the program you stick to the talking points right that's it that's all you do you don't have a you know you whenever you find yourself getting off on your own view of what's going on you go back to the talking points and that's what people like Donna Brazil do on campaigns 24/7 so what happens is they along comes they've told the to follow orders right so they they along comes this you know the FBI right and she doesn't know what's going on she all they know is that 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 WikiLeaks has their emails and 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 then along comes the corrupt you know deep state and says oh we've been hacked we've been you know cyber attacked and and it's Russia and and all this stuff and people like Donna Brazil really don't know what's going on. They, they, they're they trained to believe the authorities. 17 authorities told them that they were hacked, and then they, they narrowed that down to three later. And then we find out that the lead one was CrowdStrike, who it wasn't even a government agency. It was a private agency funded by the Clinton campaign. So, um, again, I, let's watch a little more. What the hell? I did sign a non-disclosure uh, arrangement with federal officials because much of the intelligence they shared with me at the time, I could not share with you, Tim. I could not even share with my family, and in large part because we were being attacked and the country wanted to ensure what we were up against. But once, uh, once I was able and once the DN DNI officials concluded that it was the Russians, I wanted to get out there and talk about it to the American people. Look, I've been hacked. As so she she brings up all these little secret agencies, these little, you know, oh you don't know what I know that that kind of um, that kind of arrogance that um, that the the American people don't know what's going on. I know what's going on, and I'm the I'm in charge, and you're going to listen to what I'm I'm going to say. But that's not the times we live in anymore. We live in a time where where information leaks out, and 
and information hits the internet at lightning speed, you know. And um, I, I'm sorry if I just picked my nose. <laughs> Look, I'm not, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to make sense of all this stuff, uh, like everybody else. But when I, when I see, when I see a politician like Donna Brazil come into the progressive quote, uh, we don't have a term for it yet, but let's call it progressive community, and try to sell us on the same old lie. It's so laughable and it's so it's so embarrassing. You feel embarrassed for her that she's either lying, which is partially true because it's a it's a subject that she doesn't want to talk about, so she flips to the talking point, the hack, right? So that that is technically lying, right? And and the other thing is that again, people like Donna Brazil have their job is to put their head down 24/7 and bang the phones and bang on the door, ask for money and and sell the talking points, and that that's really it. They don't they're not they're not critical thinkers. They're not high-minded people. And along and meanwhile, the whole public is watching, laughing at it. Look, politics. You're supposed to answer to the people, not the other way around. Not go into politics and 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 rise up the ranks in one day. You know, you'll be the, you'll be on top of the game. No, because you won't even, you'll be a, you'll be a, a skeleton, an empty, an empty um, vessel by the time you get there. Because you've, you've compromised your values so many times that you don't even know who you are anymore. All you are is a, you know, another talking head. So, here's a, there's another part of it. Uh, let's watch what she says about, Tim Black is going to ask her about uh, uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, right? Now, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, we know, was, you know, is is terribly corrupt. She lied on television. You could you could roll up the clips on YouTube. She lied to the public, you know, at least ten times about what she was doing. That she wasn't favoring uh, any one candidate, uh, Dem, you know, Bernie Sanders or or, or Hillary Clinton, and. Um, you know, she lied about how the how the how the funding was going. That she came she came on national television and said, "Well, Bernie Sanders doesn't want to support the the, the down ticket ballots." When we knew all along that any monies going to down ticket ballots was then being laundered back to the Hillary Clinton campaign. Right. So we knew all these things about Debbie Wasserman Schultz. And how does how does how does uh, how does Donna Brazil handle that when confronted with the integrity and the support of Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Let's find out. I guess the question, I, I guess I better make that a question. Debbie Wasserman Schultz, would you support not only Debbie Wasserman Schultz, but people people who I think are part of the problem. I think that Debbie Wasserman Schultz is part of the problem. I'd like to know your opinion on her and what does the Democratic Party do to distance itself from those people within the party who give it a bad name, who, who, who give us doubt, who give us this feeling of uh, how can we trust the Democratic Party? Tim, you know, I think the best advice I give the people who may not uh, support or uh, want to support their lawmaker or their council member or their school board member, uh, go out and run. Uh, go out there and make a case for yourself. Uh, stop trying to take somebody down to build yourself up. Go out there and make a case for why you should run, why you should lead, why you would be the better public servant. Public service is a noble calling, and we need more people to serve. We don't need people to serve their own personal special interests. We need them to serve the community. Now, Tim, the first part of that is 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 out is is you know is stunning. Tim Black asks the ex DNC chairwoman. Donna Brazil, that Debbie Wasserman Schultz, she he said it. He said that that the ballots didn't add up in Florida, right? He he alluded to election fraud, right? Not not voter fraud where there were extra voters, election fraud where the 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 establishment somehow rigged the election in Florida against her opponent Tim Canova in the primary, right? And she she what did she do? She skates right over it, right? And then. He says, Tim, Tim asks her, what, what, what would you do with people like, like, you know, Debbie Wasserman Schultz? And, and rather than say, get rid of her or, or force her to change or speak the truth to her, he, she says, why don't you go run for office and stop bashing everybody else? That is the biggest 
fucking sellout. That's her best advice is if you don't like what's going on, go run for office. Now, that's not what politics are about, right? That's not everybody. How many people are going to actually run for office? How many people have a desire or the talent or the money or the time or the any of those, those things to run for office? Because you're not going to run for shit. You know what happens when you try to run for office? You start to volunteer for somebody and you get in line and you sit at a coffee table and you eat Dunkin' Donuts and you you drink their coffee and you dial the phone. That's not running for office. You can't run for office. So her advice is 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 a sellout. It it's not a real answer, right? And this is what frustrates people, the public, about people like Donna Brazil is that they're not they're not they're so gaslighted into a broken system. They're so invested in a system that doesn't work, right? Now, the, again, the example with Debbie Wasserman Schultz. There's a, a you know good candidate down in Florida who ran the last time and was sus suspected that he was the election was stolen from him. Tim Canova, right? Now, why not support the guy that's running against her? Why do you have to tell people, oh, you should run for yourself? Something that's unrealistic, right? That's all I'm trying to say is that it's the system that that the the most it, the most out. Oh, when I when I watch when I watch new media and I read comments, I'm telling you, the thing that bothers people the most is not the not the overall direction of the country and and you know the the the, the pseudo policies that. The, the, the two fake uh, parties, the Democrats and Republicans, claim to represent. What bothers people the most is the corruption. The, 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 you know, I mean, talk about, for example, Debbie Wasserman Schultz was was literally in bed with aspiring in Congress, the Awan brothers, right? You know, talk about that, right? It's the corruption that we that we want to see go away. So. That's all for now. Watch I, I again. Kudos to 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 Tim Black for you know the his ability, his savvy to get someone like Donna Brazil to come on the show, um, you know. But uh, at some point you have to you have to. I would have liked to see him push a little harder, but he did a good job. He we got to see the transparency and the the, the lack of transparency and the phoniness of a Donna Brazil. And the urgency to uh, replace these folks. Thanks for watching.